Hey, Coach Miller here with BTB Lax. And lately I've been watching a lot of MLL games and been getting some really cool stuff. In fact, I've been pulling some clips because I think they'll be perfect for you guys out there, you know, who want to become better lacrosse players, for those coaches out there who want to coach the game a little bit better, to find those examples of good plays that you can teach your players, or if you're a player yourself, some of those that you can try to practice on your own so that you can execute those on the field. Uh, the first clip, basically this video is I want to talk about defense, how defensemen handle the ball, you know, in those like transitional uh, situations. I want to talk about some field sense, and I want to talk about a smart play. And I have five examples, so I'm going to show you these clips and just kind of point out, you know, what I saw during these clips. So this first clip I'm going to show you is from Brian Farrell, who plays for the Chesapeake Bayhawks. As you can see, um, he catches the ball in transition, catches the ball first, gets a good hard overhand shot for the lower part of the net and buries a shot, gets a goal. It's always great for, you know, to get a goal as a defenseman in the MLL. It's always great for a friend, uh, Brian Farrell, to get that goal as well. So congrats, Brian. Nice goal. Okay, the next clip I pulled is another defensive goal, but, or actually it's a defensive hockey assist. A hockey assist is the assist before the assist, and this is a great clip where it shows you another transition where you have a pull, bring, a defenseman bringing it down, passes to another defenseman, and that defenseman consequently passes to the attackman for the goal. So here we had a defenseman here, pass across the top, to another defenseman down there for an attackman goal. It's just a great way that you can show, just you know, getting those simple passes, defensive defensemen helping you know, create offense by handling the ball effectively, making good passes, getting to offensive scorers to eventually score a goal. All right, the next clip I wanna show you is, a, I really like this clip actually. I coached against this kid when I was um, coaching at Georgetown, it's Joel White. He's one of the top defensemen in the league. But here you can see, I love how the MLL has players especially defensemen who are also looking to score, create those scoring opportunities, get themselves, you know, in the paper. Uh, here you see him bringing the ball out down the sideline. He actually ends up bringing it all the way down behind to X where he sees a favorable matchup and he just tries to split dodge him, get around the cage and, you know, and essentially dunk it. I mean, I think he was being, you know, you know, a little fancy there, but at least I like the effort. I like the fact that he's like thinking to score, get to the net, and then you see the goalie, you know, trying to get out there and bury him too. That's just a good play. So as those defensemen should definitely, you know, feel that you have the opportunity, especially if you practice it, to create offensive plays and at times dodge to score. All right, the next clip I wanted to show you is more of like a field sense um, clip. Here you see we have a very talented um, attackman in Jordan Wolf who played at Duke and now is playing for the Rochester Rattlers and he carries he gets the ball from X and he's carrying it up just above GLE and as he gets to here he's being defended by his on ball defender but the adjacent defender the guy who's like right about here you know decides to take a chance and try to double the ball and I think what he was anticipating is that the on ball defender the guy who was guarding Wolf was going to turn back Wolf so that you know, then you have to get the Malachi crunch, you know, as some of those coaches call it, to get that double team. However, the on-ball defender wasn't able to um, turn him back. And, you know, Wolf could sense that slide coming or that double team coming was able to pop it over the head of that adjacent defender to the guy who the adjacent defender left for an easy goal there. So that's like a field sense kind of, uh, you know, a great field sense by, you know, Wolf the attackman, but at the same time, you know, you know, whenever you're doing a double team, you're kind of taking a risk, you know, that you're going to create a turnover. And in that case, the, you know, the defense, you know, did not you know, execute that double team and it resulted in a goal. So this final clip doesn't look like much, but when I was watching the game, I actually thought it was actually very smart. And I want to explain it to you a little bit. So the Rochester Rattlers were playing the Ohio machine and it was basically if Rochester won, they would get a spot in the MLL playoffs. So it was a big deal. It was the fourth quarter. There was about five minutes left, and the score was tied at 13. So in the MLL, and I've been watching a lot of games this summer, if you turn the ball over or something happens, like teams can score in transition like that. It's like it can be like a blink of an eye. The ball can be going the length of the field, and then you're going to score. Like the other teams, like it's just they can score so quickly. They're so offensive. They're so talented offensively. It's like very impressive. So here, Rochester realized that. 
The other thing about you know, the MLLs is there's a shot clock, so there's a 30 second shot clock, and that was winding down. I think there was about three seconds left in the shot clock. And you could see that Rochester didn't want to like force anything crazy that would potentially result in a transition goal going the other way, and then it would go down by a goal. So what they did was they just basically dumped the ball into the corner you know, so that they could get back and get in defense and played settled defense. And that's a big deal because what ended up happening was they got down, they got a stop, got the ball back, and eventually Rochester scored and they won the game. So it's just little plays like that that can be, you know, you'll see in the clip how they just dumped it in the corner. Little plays like that that can be a big deal and that can prevent, like, you know, those transition goals that potentially could have lost them the game. So I wanted to point that out as well. All right, so there you have it. Those are those five clips that I saw, you know, just covering those, the things that I wanted to focus on, which was defensemen and how they handle the ball, create opportunities, especially in the offensive end. Uh, I wanted to show you a double team and how like a field sense thing from an attackman, noticing that double team and how was he able to beat it. And I also wanted to show you just a great heads up, a high IQ lacrosse play where they dump the ball in the corner to prevent any transition goal, to give themselves set defense to stop like a high powered offense. I've been writing a lot of blog posts and articles lately. Just check it out at btb-lax.com. The link's right below this video. You know, when you get on the page and read the articles, leave a comment. Love to see what you have to say. Um, see you soon.